Well, uh, we start in Syria where government troops have forced al-Qaeda-linked rebels out of the ancient Christian village of Malula. The settlement, which is home to some of the world's oldest religious sites, was overrun by opposition fighters last Sunday following days of heavy fighting. Artis Marina Maria Fenoshina has made it to the village and joined us from there by phone a little earlier in the last hour. Yes, we've entered in Malula village in central Syria with the army and right now indeed uh, soldiers in, uh, of uh, the Syrian state army uh, are controlling the situation here on the ground. Uh, we are at the central square right now. It uh, uh, could have been possible to get that close to the city center if uh, uh, the, the, the village is not controlled by the army. But we are told that there are some militants up to 200, as also for the telling us, hiding behind the mountains that are surrounding Malula village. And this is why it is still dangerous to be here. And this is why they say that they will only allow uh, journalists to come here before sunset, which uh, will happen in one hour. So the, the, the army is controlling the situation right now on the ground, but they say they need some time to finish it completely. As for Safir Hotel, which was taken on the first day of the attack by the militants and was held by them for seven days, uh, they say, the army say that uh, it is right now empty and there are no militants there. They were there and they were uh, kicked out of this hotel by the army. And also we were told that there were up to 35 or 40 local residents who were uh, held hostages in this hotel, in the basement of this hotel, and they are now freed and they uh, have been transported to the capital. This is the situation. Maybe you can hear from time to time the raw. Uh, we, we hear shelling or we hear separate shots. This is the army. They say they are still targeting uh, some positions they think are held by the militants. This is the situation from the ground. Well, Malona village is known worldwide as one of the few places on earth where they still speak Aramaic language, the language of Jesus Christ. Uh, but also, it's home to a number of very ancient monasteries, Christian monasteries, both Orthodox and Catholic. The village was taken by uh, Islamic groups uh, like Jabhat al Lustra and uh, maybe the members of other uh, uh, jihadist uh, groups. Uh, and, but, but the thing is that this is, they're not only operating in Malula, but actually all across Syria. And we met some of them in Damascus prison. And this is my report about what we 